Hey guys, Brian Hunt here with you again. This is our fourth video in a series on project workflow, project management, and project backup. And in this video, we're talking to you about how we back up to our NAS server, why we use our NAS to back up our projects onto, and how we use and why we use LTO tapes as one of our major ways to back up our projects and our files. So in the last video, we showed you how we use Project Manager to make our finished projects much smaller and consolidate all our media into one place. And when we do that, we save that media managed project onto our NAS server. There was actually a great video that was done by newsshooters.com about this particular NAS that we're using. You can click to watch that. There's also a link up in the corner. We have it set up for right now for 60 terabytes. We have it set as a RAID 5, so we can have up to one drive die on it and we have two more spaces on the NAS to fit another two 10 terabyte drives. We project manage our projects, put them into the NAS. We can very easily click on that project file, reinstall that project, bring it up, all the information is gonna be there. It doesn't take up very much space on our NAS, so we can fit loads and loads of projects on it. We have stuff cataloged from 2015 down to this year. Every project we've done is all has been media managed out and is on there so we can quickly get to them. But if there is a case where we need to get the full project that we originally worked on, all the files that's not in the media managed project, we have saved those all onto LTO tapes. We have an LTO drive behind me in an old Mac tower. The reason we use LTO tapes is LTO tapes are one of the most cost efficient ways to back up a lot of data and one of the safest ways to back up a lot of data. We're saving from ourselves having to buy tons and tons of hard drives. So if I wanna come back to an LTO tape five years from now, the LTO tape will boot up that I can get all the footage back off of it and I have it in a very safe place. We never delete our project files until they're on the NAS and they're backed up on an LTO tape. So you guys might be wondering, what the hell is an LTO tape? Well, basically LTO tape is a magnetic tape. It is tape, it is linear, it's not writing to it like a hard driver, it can skip back and forth between places. It has to write the information as a linear tape around. So if we wanna restore a project off the LTO tape and say that project is 200 gigs and we wanna transfer that folder off the LTO tape onto a hard drive so as to be able to start working on it again, it'll take a couple hours to transfer over. So not ridiculous, it's just you can't work off an LTO. You can't actually edit from an LTO or be writing directly to an LTO. You have to use an LTO software to write to it and you have to be using an LTO deck. The initial startup costs with an LTO system is a little bit more expensive. An LTO tape deck, the one that we have, costs us about 3,500. We use it on our uh, old Mac tower because it has the slots in there. We can change them out. We can have the direct line to the LTO. You can get Thunderbolt connections. They're a little bit more expensive. They're about $5,000. So the other cost with the LTO tape setup is the software. And there's a few different softwares out there, but the software is gonna cost you around $1,000 Canadian. But you start to recoup the cost of the LTO deck quite quickly because of the cheap cost on how much space you get on an LTO tape. So for $50, you're getting almost two and a half terabytes of storage. That's very cheap storage. And I can keep using this LTO deck for the next five years or the next 10 years. This is something you can charge to a client for storing it for them and you can charge them for restoring it. And they're gonna be very happy with you that you still have their project file and all the footage. So I wanna show you how we use LTO uh, and how we back up with our LTO systems. We have a OWC external hard drive on our computer where we have our LTO deck and we transfer to there. We have in a folder called LTO and then we make a numbered sequence that is the name of our tape. So we use BHV and then I'll put zero and then the number of the tape. So right now this is BHV 018. So this tape then has a folder. We keep adding our projects to that until we get to just a bit over two terabytes. And then when we're finished, we'll print out a little piece that will show us what we have, what projects we have on this LTO tape. Now, one of the things to know when you're also writing to an LTO tape, it is a tape deck and it makes a lot of noise, but put on a set of earphones and you're fine. And you might wanna look at having your LTO tape deck 
set up to a dedicated machine like our old Mac Tower. So we don't have to worry about doing work on the system when we're writing to an LTO tape. I'm gonna have a lot of links in the description to this video to show different places where you can buy LTO tapes. I got mine from the DV shop in Toronto. They're a great place if you've never been there to buy stuff if you're in the GTA or their Southern Ontario uh, area. I get a lot of my products there. The guys are great. They can show you different options of things you can buy and give you pricings, etc. In the US, I have some links to B&H photo video and you can see some different options of an LTO tape deck that might meet your needs or fit to your system configurations. And another further step you can go for another even more peace of mind is making two copies of each LTO tape and having one of those LTO tapes off-site in case there was ever a break-in or a fire. So you have your files in two different actual physical places in case there was an issue to happen in your main work area. So in the next video, we're gonna show you the ins and outs and how we use the LTO software that we use to back up to our LTO tapes. We're gonna give you all that information that's gonna help you make decisions if you feel like LTO backups are something that would work well for yourself. Thanks so much guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please give us a like. Please think of subscribing to our channel and we'll see you on the next one.